Well, many people have had this Saturday on the calendar circled as the chance to see the annular solar eclipse that will be occurring on October 14th. Now, this is going to be a spectacle for the west coast of the United States here in the Great Lakes region. It would be a partial uh, eclipse, and we're going to take you through what's going to be happening, what we may be expecting if it is to be visible, and also take you through our bleak chances that we're going to be able to see it this Saturday due to the weather conditions with the rain and the cloud cover that we're going to be expecting. Now, our big event, though, is going to be on April 8th, 2024, and we will be looking forward to the total solar eclipse that will be visiting our area. So what to expect with the annular solar eclipse will be happening this Saturday. In a similar eclipse fashion, the moon passes in between the Earth and the sun, which results in an obstruction or a shadow. Now, this is typically known as a ring of fire eclipse, which means the moon doesn't completely block the sun. The there will be some visible elements of that sun. So if there is going to be any viewing of this, you must have proper eye protection to view the annular solar eclipse. So where is going to be the path or the uh, path of uh, the annual uh, uh, annular eclipse? It is going to be coming on the Pacific Northwest, coming through the state of Nevada, down into the Four Corners region, across New Mexico, and eventually through Texas. That is where the greatest eclipse will be occurring. Now, much of the West Coast and the Intermountain West down into Texas will have at least an 80% eclipse it will be occurring. Now, from there outward, though, that eclipse is going to diminish across the Great Plains, up into the northern tier of the country, and the Midwest, about a 60% eclipse. And here in the Great Lakes region, should we be able to see the annular eclipse, it would be a partial eclipse, right around a 35% eclipse it would be occurring across southern Michigan and northwest Ohio. So what would this look like in an annular solar eclipse? Here in Toledo, it would be begin at 11.45 a.m. Shortly after that, that eclipse would be taking place through noon and that maximum eclipse of about 35% at 104.47, and that partial eclipse will come to an end at 226.54. And again, at its greatest point, it would be about a 35% eclipse. So the question is, are we going to have a chance at seeing this? It is going to be very unlikely with based on our weather forecast. For Friday, clouds are going to be increasing through the afternoon. Rain chance is going to roll in. That will come into the area after dark Friday night. Here's the clock, 11 p.m. Friday night. And as we get into Saturday morning, we've got a slow moving area of low pressure. That is going to bring more rain into the area. There's Saturday morning. And as a front sweeps into the area, area of low pressure likely to bring clouds and of course not the best viewing conditions for that annular eclipse. Now there is a very small chance off to the south of the west down into central western Ohio and parts of central Indiana, maybe a dry slot very briefly late Saturday morning into the afternoon that could allow a brief view at that eclipse and we'll see how close we may get to that area of clearing. But as we go through Saturday afternoon, more clouds will fill in and rain showers will be expected through Saturday. For us, again, this is not going to be the big event. Here's what we are going to be looking forward to. The total solar eclipse It will happen April 8th of 2024. Our coverage, we're leading that here now at uh, WTOL.com and also on our WTOL 11 YouTube page for much more on what's ahead with that.